Hey everybody, Matthew here with the Dropship Dropouts. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you an awesome technique for doing product research that's free and that you're probably gonna be doing every single day of your life. It's very easy and doesn't require a lot of work. But before I get into this technique, guys, what, I, what I'd like to ask you guys to do for me is please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Now, if you do do these three things, they help me out so much that I actually give away a free mentorship call every single video and I'll be giving that away from the last video somewhere in this video. So definitely watch the whole video if you commented, liked, and subscribed in my last video. So guys, let's get into it right now. And also one more thing, if you guys do need mentorship or if you do need some kind of consulting help with your Facebook ads, there's a link below where you can just, you know, call me for 15, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you need. All right. So guys, let's get into it now. And what, as you guys can see, we're starting with Facebook. And again, Facebook is a really great place to start doing your product research. And I'll show you guys why. So there's this great app here. It's called uh, Turbo Ad Finder. It's completely free. And what happens is when you turn it on, what it's going to do is let, let's just refresh the page really quick is it's going to filter out every single post on Facebook and only show you the ads that you're being shown. So unfortunately, I don't oh, well, here's actually a good Shopify product we can take a look at in just a second. But uh, the problem is, is that right now I'm getting a lot of product list genie things, which I want to review again, guys, because there's a 2.0. So stay tuned for that. I already got it. Helium 10. So a lot of services. But right here, we have an example of a dropshipping product, the solar flame flickering lamp. Now, I don't recommend you guys do this product, but it's been something that I've been seeing a lot. And what we're going to do now is every time we see a product, right? Every time you go on your Facebook, on your laptop, just turn on Turbo Ad Finder, do three refreshes, and I promise you, you'll find a bunch of apps. So uh, definitely click shop now. And what that's going to do is it's going to put us into the engaged shopper uh, category. So Facebook is going to definitely be showing us more products. We could even add it to cart just for fun. All right, so let's close this now. And the next thing we're going to do is just head on over to their page. And what we can do is just head on over to their info and ads. So these guys actually have, you know, almost 4,000 likes. And let's just go see what kind of ads they got going and we can see how well they're doing. Now, as soon as we get on their page, you're going to see that we can't see any of the social proof. So what you're going to want to do is just copy. Oops, had a little bit of lag. Copy the URL at time and just paste it in a new tab, right? Really, really easy. So we can see 110 million views posted on Tuesday. Uh, very little social engagement. So something seems up here. They may have changed some stuff and they're not really getting any. Is this? Uh, I have no idea how this is so low, but you know, it's looking like a good product because I've been seeing this right there. They are running a ton of these ads. Holy crap. So this really must be uh, a good product, right? And they're so holy crap. Wow. This is wait, is it? it is it just resetting? No, it is not. So they're running a ton of ads and we can just take them and keep copy pasting them and seeing how well they're doing. And the next thing we're going to do is, all right, so we see that a lot of their posts are doing pretty well. 67 shares, 501. I mean, it's not amazing for a 1.7 million viewed channel. I mean, uh, video, but the good news is, is that it's been running for two months. So that's a really good sign for us. So what we're going to do now is just head on over to AliExpress, right? And then go right. Uh, what what exactly is this? I'm kind of confused. Solar flame torch. So we'll just try that right away, and then we'll obviously look a little deeper if we need to. Oh, okay, and there it is. So let's go uh, sort by orders. And one thing to consider, guys, is that just because these ones have low orders does not mean the product itself has low orders. So this person here, I actually think I know this drop shipper, like not personally, obviously, but I've seen them before. And what they do is they make a bunch of different pages for a bunch of different. Uh, websites. So for almost everything, they have a, like a personal website. So you think it's just for this now, because if we go to their catalog, yeah, it's not going to let me, but I'm, I'm almost positive that this website is one of them, which, which are like one product sites to make it seem like it is, but it really isn't. Okay. So you can double check me on that one. I'm pretty sure they also do the the spinning motor for like the attachment to clean toilets for your drill. Anyway, so uh, not many orders here. So obviously we'd have to look over this a little more uh, instead of just jumping onto conclusions and assuming that this product's doing well. But let me just tell you one thing. These numbers alone are not enough to tell us whether this product is actually in demand or not. So let's just go back to our main Facebook feed. And what we're going to do is just hit command R refresh, however you want to do it on your computer. And as you guys can see, 
here's a good one real wood macbook protective cases uh so this one might actually be a real product like uh it might be an actual product that's uh that's made uh, you know that they've made themselves but then again i might be completely wrong so they might be marketing it that way but you know it looks really good but let's go double check if this product is actually anything special or not and but before we do that guys don't forget let's just go to their facebook page and if you find someone that's very obviously a dropshipper so they're not very obviously a dropshipper yet what we're gonna do real wood and stone Okay, so I think these guys might be uh, Wood, Mac. Yeah, so here's one. Is this real wood? Uh, I can't really tell. But it looks pretty similar and it's actually a pretty dope product. This could be a good product. It has a lot of orders. Let's see how recently the orders are coming in. So the 19th, you know, not bad. Uh, but what I would do again is just go ahead and go back to their Facebook page. Oh man, so many tabs get confused. And you know, if you find a really good, you know, manufacturer or something like that, so they're private labeling, but I think it's overall like almost the same case. It's not much different. And almost everything they're selling, I'm pretty sure is just not really that popular, but what we can do is just click follow or like them. And that way we can always go back and just keep going back to these like popular guys that we might not be seeing anymore once we refresh our feed. So that's something important to keep in mind. But let's just go refresh the feed one more time. You know, I got distracted by this MacBook thing. All right. So I know this one. This is like a very sleek battery pack. And if we look at uh, some of the stats, like it's doing really well. So it has a lot of uh, like a decent amount of engagement. But what we're going to do is just copy this video URL. And uh, let me just oh, shoot. Why did I do that? You no. Know, so it has a good amount of engagement. Oh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to check when the ad was posted. Right. And then the next thing I wanted to do was go to their Facebook page and go see which ads that they're running. So Eatmart just literally sounds like a dropshipping site. Yeah, 291 people liking it. And one of the important things to do before you actually follow anybody is, well, first of all, let's go run, let's go see the United States ads because that's where they're going to be running the most. And I was right. Okay, so they're running two ads. What we're going to do is actually go to their website. So go home and let's go find their website. So here it is. And the, the one of the most important things you want to do before you follow or before you trust anything you see is click here and see how much traffic they're getting. So two millionth on electric, but 242nd in the US. So that's actually not bad. So this site could be decent. Okay, like the rank is high, but it's low. Anyway, <laughs> so this is, could be something we can trust, right? They're doing electronics. They have some cool pictures going. You know, they don't have, I mean, they're running ads. So uh, could be a website we can trust, right? You'd have to look more into it, guys, but look at the stuff like the Alexa rank and you can go get the Alexa rank app for free. Everything I'm showing you guys in this video is totally free. So, you know, we can go ahead and follow them. I'm not going to follow them. I personally don't really like to sell electronics, but okay, here's another one, the Tangy Walrus. Uh, let's go copy this URL link. And, uh, yo, Turbo Ad Finder is kind of stressful on the computer, so it's like taxing on your PC, like your uh, whatever. Your, okay, wait, okay, it doesn't matter. Stupid thought anyway. But 42K views since Wednesday, and these guys are probably not that big. So let me open up a page for them. Right, let's go check out how their ranking is doing and kind of just check if this is something worth pursuing or not. And another thing, guys, you should always double check is actually see where these comments are coming from. So a lot of people on YouTube will tell you to run your ads in like engagement ads in China, Bangladesh, all those places to get really cheap engagement. And from what I'm seeing right here, this kind of looks like the case, right? These are not the people that you want liking your stuff. And if we go to the comments, we can go double check the same thing. So let's go look at the newest comments. Oh, you know what, Robert, it won't get illegal. It probably already is. Uh, it's price and ka, right? So hurry before it gets illegal and can't see Bob at nighttime anymore. Okay, so you know, there's a good amount of like Westerners commenting, which is what I'm looking for. So let's go to their website, right? Uh, not bad. So they're actually using the uh, the shop to my theme. Let's go check out their actual yeah, so not a website you want to trust, right? 3 million and traffic in country, like nothing. Like really not a big website. They probably just, they probably launched recently. Uh, I would get rid of that image right there. Yeah, this is like stock as it comes. They barely even changed any colors. So not a website I would trust there. So that's how you just go ahead and check, you know, the websites you can and cannot trust. You know, I don't know why, you know, this one actually has a decent amount, but a very high Alexa rank, like in a bad way. 
but you know decent website and but they basically copy this i i've seen a website with this exact same product so not that special but i mean it did do really well and let's go see if they're still running any ads yeah they're still not running wait let me go check the united states ads yeah so they're still not running ads for that product so it may have not done that well or you know shit has not been going so well since then it's a fairly new website so probably wouldn't be something i trust but anyway guys we can just keep doing that and doing that non-stop ad this is not a job shaver that's just like because i play tennis oh this would be a good product so we can go off-road pro pros so we can go check out their website. We can go check this. Trend Deploy has been running this ad for a really long time. So that could be a good product. Wow, that's really cool. I have this, but it's uh, mine's probably better quality, not gonna lie. Yeah, so a lot of this stuff, right, guys, these are good products that you can be testing on your on your website. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a totally free product research. So as you can see, at, instead of wasting your time scrolling through a Facebook feed, and just looking at your friends posts, what you can be doing is constantly looking at products that are doing well. So, you know, uh, for me, it's like natural. I just click FA and then enter. And so instead of having, having like all your crap there, what you do is just turn on this turbo ad finder. And what you do is just scroll down and you really get an unlimited amount of products to choose from. All these products, especially if you're clicking shop now on everything, you are becoming an engaged shopper. You're adding things to cart, right? you will be targeted with the best ads and by being targeted by the best ads what you're getting is you're what you're telling facebook and you know people who are advertising on facebook is that you're the type of guy that you want to be advertising to and that way you're going to be getting the top level ads it's kind of douchey to do to other people because you're wasting their money but hey that's just the way of the market that's what everybody's doing so you know don't don't miss out on this opportunity it's really good keep clicking shop now Check out everything like I showed you guys. Make sure that they're doing well with their Alexa rank to see if this is something that you can even trust or not. Because sometimes you might just get onto a website that looks good, uh, that's running good ads and that has like decent engagement. But when you actually do the checking on Alexa, they're not really getting enough traffic to probably be making like even like five grand a month in revenue. So that's just something to consider, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And the winner from last week's video will be pop up right here. And uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.